my sex for the day. Listen, uh, just a quick check in or update on my doctor's visit yesterday. Um, I don't remember where I left off, but I ended up going back to the ER roughly around six or seven o'clock. Um, I was in so much pain from my chest to my back to my airways were just closing in closing closing up on me um a lot of it had to do with my anxiety and i was having a panic attack at the same time because it was it's it was just too much i mean i was crying snots <laughs> snotting tears like it was that it was that bad for me to be crying snotting tears something got to be wrong okay so uh, I ended up having my son call my mom to come pick me up because I couldn't obviously drive in the condition I was in um, mentally and being physically just in a lot of pain. So I did not get behind the wheel. Uh, my mom, she came. The long pauses, guys, are going to be for me taking uh, taking breaths, okay? My mom, she came and she picked me up and she dropped me off and she left to go do Uber Eats. So once again, I was in the hospital all by myself. Um, I got there. They wanted to immediately do further testing to see what exactly was going, what was going on. I already knew what was going on. The medication that they prescribed me the first time was it my body had a reverse a, a reverse re reaction to it. it 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 did the opposite if anything it as soon as i took it um the symptoms got got worse worse than what they were when i went to the hospital like it was that bad it was excruciating um anyway long story short guys like I said, I got to the hospital at 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock. I didn't get out of the hospital. I didn't get home till roughly uh, 12.30. That's how long I was in there. But I'm going to, I'm not, I'm going to appreciate the thorough, the thorough work that they did because it could be something underlining that, you know, you can't see with the x-ray. They ran blood work. They did an ultrasound um, of all of my organs, uh, like my kidneys my gallbladder um my liver you know all of those things that's you know all of this stuff down here um everything came back normal you know when they say normal i like explain what normal is they said there was nothing there that was alarming is there anything there that we need to talk about discuss and it's like no <laughs> you're fine you're fine. You're in good health. And say, but then what the f is this? They say most likely it is a pulled, like a pulled muscle. I say, listen, this muscle is in the shoulder. How is it now masking the whole right side of my body to my to the back of my body? <sighs> There's still no explanation for it. So today I am going to make an appointment with uh, uh shit i might just excuse my language too early i'm going to make an appointment with my uh with my doctor or i'm just going to pop up on them since i'm already on that side of town i kind of need this done like today um i work tomorrow and i have a and, and i just i need to go i don't need to call out but I will, I will let my job know. I am, I'm, I'm in a sitting position. But anyway, I'm getting off track. Um, call my doctor so I can get a referral for. Uh, they said, uh, is it an orthopedic? Yeah, I think it said. I think they said an orthopedic is what I would go see for, you know, further testing in what, what the hospital, you know, muscular, back locker vascular, vascular, muscular, yeah, all that. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely gonna need further testing. I get these. Mm, 
these so-called uh, back spasms or pull muscles or musculoca, musculoca every two, like it seems like every other month now. Before, I was just getting back spasms once a year. And, I, I, you know, this stuff is, it, it, it's, it's a lot of pain. Like, it's, it really, really hurts. Um, I would rather go through childbirth than keep going through this. I would rather go through childbirth than go through this, y'all. Ain't he okay back there? He's back there. You back there picking boogers? Yeah, he... <laughs> Listen, yes, I might look good on the outside, but on the inside, I feel... I feel bad, guys. <laughs> I have not smoked cigarettes since Saturday, Sunday. I have not taken a drink since Saturday, Sunday. And then, you know what? Let me tell you, let me tell you a little... A little inside secret hat. I always do. Once I slow down on my usage of uh, drugs and alcohol, that my body was going to start taking a toll on me. Because it's so used to that garbage being put into, into my system that now oh good, the grocery house is not busy. That now that it doesn't have that garbage in my system and I'm actually drinking a lot more water i'm drinking a hell of a lot of water y'all i've been drinking water but now water if i'm not drinking liquor which i still do drink okay like i said it's once a week okay once or twice at on, on a bad week okay but i'm drinking water i might have a ginger ale or i might have a you know have an itch for a half thirst for a coca-cola or something but the sit me popping sodas back to back 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 nah but Water. Water. You, at one point, I had about 10 water bottles in my car. No lie. No cap. Because that's all I needed to consume to flush out the toxins in my mind. Oh, I'm cutting the butts off. <clears throat> but like I said, once I'm, now that I'm starting to slow down, damn near at a stop to putting that garbage in my body. It's like my, my body having is having like a lot of offsets. Does that make sense? Like a lot of like it's off like it's like I could bump I could bump my elbow while like say back then when I'm like on alcohol every day or whatever and I could bump my elbow. I won't feel nothing. Hell I won't even feel it the next day. But now that my body doesn't have that you know that 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 uh toxic in it i'm starting to feel the bruises the bumps the aches a lot more like yeah i'm becoming human again <laughs> just like like how how long chucky chucky was in that doll's body he's becoming human in that body the longer you're in that body chucky the longer you're that you're in that doll's body, you're gonna become human. <laughs> and if I am, I'm just being silly. But yeah, I'm becoming human again. That's just the reality of it. So we're almost there. We're almost to the busy part of um, the Jacksonville. I took Roosevelt because taking the expressway in the morning time, either way, is not a good idea so i'm on roosevelt for those who know i can't flip my phone my phone doesn't have a flip when i'm doing this but this is roosevelt and i'm coming up to um i-10 so which is a very busy busy congestion part so i'm gonna go ahead and get off and i want to thank you guys for riding with us Caden said thank you for riding okay that's weird and um yeah keep you guys updated